Welcome everyone to this video which is about our recent work published in Nature. Coping with threatening situations is at the core of MAMOR's defensive system. Such defensive systems are supported by a network of neonal structures such as the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex. One of the main defensive responses when facing a danger is avoidance behavior, which allows an animal to avoid a potential threat by moving away from it. Excessive avoidance in the absence of a real danger is a hallmark of pathological conditions such as anxiety-related disorder. And this is why it's so important to understand the underlying neonal mechanism. The main concept we develop in the paper is about how sensory information and avoidance behavior are dynamically encoded in the medial prefrontal cortex, a structure involved both in goal-directed behavior and emotional regulation. To address this question, we use a combination of behavioral approaches in vivo electrophysiology, pharmacology, and optogenetics combined with advanced video tracking and machine learning techniques. We use an avoidance task where mice are placed in a maze with two symmetric compartments and challenged with auditory stimuli. One that we call CS plus that is associated with an aversive stimulus after 7 seconds and another sound that we call CS minus that is neutral. In addition, shuttling from the current compartment cancels any ongoing sound and contingent aversive event. That's what defines an avoidance response. We perform single unit recordings in the dorsal medial prefrontal cortex and analyze the data by using artificial intelligence tools. We first observed that despite the discrete structure of the sound, neural populations in the PFC maintain sustained information about the presence of CS plus, even during the absence of auditory inputs, something that is not happening during CS minus presentations. When we inactivate the amygdala while recording the PFC, we observed that avoidance to CS plus was dramatically impaired, but interestingly, Although PFC neuronal decoders still showed information about the presence of the sound, the information about CS plus in between PIPs was missing, showing that the prefrontal cortex relies on amygdala to construct sustained representations of threats from associated sensory inputs. While PFC is strongly represents CS plus at the onset, it does not predict avoidance behavior. However, right before starting the avoidance running response, PFC has information about the upcoming avoidance action. This, in contrast, is not observed when we consider analogous spontaneous run movements, indicating that this prefrontal neural signature we observe before the avoidance run is specific to the impending avoidance action. Finally, to study the causal role of the dorsal media prefrontal cortex activity in avoidance behavior, we perform time-specific inactivations using optogenetics. When we briefly inactivate the PFC at the onset of the CS, we induce a delay in the time in which avoidance responses are performed. Also, when we inactivate the PFC after the onset of the CS, we reduce the avoidance response probability, confirming that there's dynamic processing in the dorsal media prefrontal cortex linking threats with initiation of defensive actions. Over the past decades, it has been clear that the amygdala plays a key role in threat-related behavior. In addition, in recent years, it has also become evident that the medial prefrontal cortex regulates threat behavior. In this study, we show that the amygdala is necessary to link the representation of a CS with a threat, and that the prefrontal cortex is also necessary to dynamically link this threat representation with defensive action. Finally, this dynamic process is critical to define the temporal evolution of avoidance behavior.